Even decades after he left office, Moon Landrieu's impact is still being felt. Tonight we hear from another former New Orleans mayor. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Moon Landry passed away this morning at the age of 92. All day we've talked to city and state leaders who remembered his two trailblazing terms. Now we'll hear from New Orleans' first black mayor, Mark Morial. Eleanor Tabone found out how Landrieu helped pave the way for his career. Moon Landrieu won two terms as the mayor of New Orleans. He made a significant difference by helping bring racial equality to the city and revitalizing city government in the 1970s. I recognized as a politician, as a, as a legislator and a councilman, that we were wasting so much talent and wasting so much energy by precluding the blacks from participation. A white Louisiana politician fighting for civil rights. He is credited for appointing African Americans and women to high ranking city positions. He is widely recognized, rightfully so, as the mayor who integrated uh, City Hall. Former Mayor Mark Morial saying Landrieu's values were the reason for the overwhelming support by the majority of black voters in the 1969 mayoral election. He became, I think, the first true uh, executive mayor, the true uh, dynamic uh, municipal executive who was focused on public policy. Landrieu served as mayor from 1970 to 1978. His political resume including Louisiana State Representative, New Orleans City Councilman and judge on Louisiana's Fourth Circuit Court of Appeal. After leaving the mayor's office, he was named U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development during the final two years of President Jimmy Carter's administration. His willingness to lead was the right thing at the right time. His proudest achievement, his family. How lucky I was to find Vernal and how blessed we were to have nine good kids. If you talk to any of Moon's children, they will tell you that what they remember and cherish the most were any private time they had with their dad, but also sort of the family meals where they would talk about things. Mayor Landrieu's vision making him one of the city's giants. There aren't very many left in his generation. And I think the fact that he was one of the last reminds us all of the contributions of that greatest generation. What do you think the advice he would give to future leaders of New Orleans? Have the courage to do what you know is right. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. A quick correction, Mark Morial's father, Ernest Morial, was the first black mayor of New Orleans. Governor John Bell Edwards called Moon Landrieu a defining voice for Louisiana as a state legislator, mayor, HUD secretary, and judge. He noted that Landrieu was the only member of the Louisiana House to vote against a 1960 bill that sought to defy federal integration orders.